Hey YouTube, what is going on? It is GuideofLHD here, and today we are fully kitted out with the lab coat of discovery and the pants of understanding and the pointy thingy. Um, so yeah, that's awesome. Okay, so today we're going to be covering covering rocks. Um, so that's going to be pretty awesome. Um, yeah, I was going to make up a terrible pun, but in true fact, I'm just really not funny. I try to be funny, but I'm just not. So I'm just going to leave out that pun until the end. Maybe I might just call it the title, but uh, we'll find out. And it just started to rain. So that's going to ruin the whole presentation. We'll just set the time today so that you can see clearly. I can see clearly now whatever that song is. My head's spinning around. I can't see clear no more. What are you waiting for? Okay, so uh, first we're going to be starting off with igneous or ignite um, volcanic rocks. Um, the ignite, can you guys see that? The IGN and the IGN, and no, that doesn't stand for in-game name. It stands for ignite. Okay, sweet. So um, these igneous rocks are formed from the magma. Um, f formed from magma, the magma is forced is then forced up and sometimes out of the earth's crust as it begins to cool crystals begin to form and the magma solidifies um the size of the crystal depends on how quickly the, the magma cools i've got some notes here so um, if it cools really fast bubbles get trapped and um that makes the rocks light um that's just a uh, little piece of knowledge there um that came with the pants of understanding that was that was all them guys all them okay and um yeah uh, the faster it cools, the smaller the crystals are. Sweet. Okay, and also, granite cools slowly within the Earth's crust. Intrusive igneous, and that is what we call it. I think it's intrusive. It's down here someone. Yes, intrusive igneous rock, right there. And, uh, yeah, examples of this rock uh, can be included in scoria, pumice, obsidian, and ig ignimbrite. Okay, sweet, so hopefully that makes a bit of sense. So, since it uh, slow, cools slowly within the uh, Earth's crust, um, uh, ew, that's what our granite does. Yes, yes, granite does that. So, uh, that would have uh, large crystals. Cause it's, so, uh, how did I do that? Uh, it cooks slowly. Uh, slowly. Okay, how did I do that? Okay, anyway, moving on. Metamorphic uh, rocks, or shapeshifters. Um, these ones are quite interesting. Okay, so... um. When sedimentary rocks, that's that one over there, we'll get onto that, um, become buried deep down, they are subject to high temperatures and pressure. Over a long time, this causes structural and chemical changes uh, without melting, um, forming metamorphic rocks. These rocks are normally harder and resist erosion better than sedimentary rocks. So hopefully that makes sense. Ah, uh, yes. The, yeah, okay, sweet. I've got a whole bunch of notes that I've just confused myself with, so I will ignore that and move on to our sedimentary rocks, or sediment. Um, they're classified by how they are formed. That goes for all of them. So this one got its name from how it was formed, so did this one, and so did that one. Lastly, but not leastly, sedimentary rocks. Okay, um, sedimentary rocks, I ran out of room on the sign, are formed from grains of eroded rock, uncomposed uh, parts of... Plants or animals. That's a bit ew, disgusting sort of thing that bits of rock uh, like made from animals. That's a bit scary. Okay, these sediments settle in horizontal layers, usually underwater, as older layers become buried under newer layers and their weight squeezes out water. Um, this makes it harder. Yes, the particles of the sediments become cemented together. Um, Sedimentary rocks, yes, for example, mud is compressed into shape and the remains of tiny shellfish into chalk or limestone. Sand is compressed into sandstone. So that's very, very simple. Um, yeah. The weight and pressure of the rock above causes parallel pl planes or bands. Yes, and that goes for metamorphic rocks. That's the note for these ones. So, once again, for the metamorphic rocks, this is just a quick note. What does it say? I can't read it from here. Uh, the weight and pressure of the lock, 
of the rock above causes parallel planes or bands. Um, and that's why you get weird, awesome colors. Like how a rock may be black and there'll be white, then black, then white. Like a zebra stripes, sort of. So yeah, hopefully that makes a bit of sense. Uh, sorry, there wasn't much practical stuff to do and it was mostly talking. Um, thank you very much for watching the episode. You guys rock. Oh yes, that was absolutely terrible. I'm going to get told off for that one. But I have my pointer thingy that cuts deep with knowledge so I'll be able to stick up for myself on that one. Okay, so uh, yes, thank you very much for watching episode 12 of how science will get out of ISD. And that is me. Uh, if I'd started this at the start of the year, we'd probably have like about 120 episodes, that would be awesome, but, uh, yeah, it didn't happen, mainly because the start of the year we didn't have unlimited broadband, and it just took forever to, like, try and convince Dad that I could do, like, more uploads, and then we got unlimited, and then all was happy, so, uh, yes, thank you very much for watching, uh, this episode, I've been Godfly HD, and, uh, we will see you guys next time, goodbye. Yeah.